Hello guys, welcome with another video. In this video, we will discuss about Malaysia International Scholarship. So this is a new scholarship which is going on. So let's uh, just start. What is the scholarship? So this is a scholarship from Malaysia for international students. It's an initiative by Malaysian government scholarship. So that attracts from around the world to pursue postgraduate studies in Malaysia. The scholarship is parallel with Malaysian aspiration to emerge as one of the global center of academic excellence by attracting motivation. So interesting international graduates with outstanding academic and co-curriculum background are welcome to apply for this scholarship. So let's see the application. So the application for the academic 2022 to 2023 will be open from 15th may to 15th june 2022 so for applying just click here so we'll discuss it in next steps so the technical corporation program so the malaysian technician was established in 1980. So the objective is to share experience with other developing countries and for bilateral developing countries, encouraging promote South-South cooperation and encourage promote technical cooperation. So this is a premise of the principle of the development countries. So annually, the Malaysian offers 60 technical training capacity building programs. So you can see more than 34,500 participants from 144 developing countries has benefited from various program offered under MTCP. So you can see the duration that is from 12 to 24 months for master's program. So for MTCP, you have to click here. And for the general scholarship, you have to click here. So from here, you can see these. You have to just click on sign up. So from here, you have to fill your information. So like I had just filled my passport and my different things. So I have to write my email that is right. Color at the rate gmail dot com. So you have to check spell as well because sometimes this link will go into your email. So by feature scholar at the rate gmail dot com. So you have to click the program from here. Either you are applying for masters or PhD. So your passport number, your password that will be for applying purpose and your email your date of birth and your residency like from where you are so you have to click here register so that is save for this so you have to click here write future scholar Four, four. So you have to just click here. So from here, you can fill your all information. So before that, we have to just go for guidelines. So from here, you can see the guidelines of this scholarship. So you can see this is for master's and PhD and currently pursuing full-time postgraduate in Malaysian and private higher educational so please refer the list of universities and institution included under mis so you can see these different countries like afghanistan algeria so there are nearly 
university country so if you are from this country you can easily apply or in other words you are eligible to apply so there is another information like for MIS you have to click here the applicant will have to provide necessary information and listed scan and save it in PDF so application form a certificate of passport that with minimum validity of six months and a certified copy of academic that is transcript and your degree as well. So these are the documents for master's level or PhD level. If you're applying for PhD level, you have to submit master's transcript and degree. So reflect the record of all courses taken through the previous study program must be submitted together a certificate. And if you have English proficiency like IELTS, TOEFL or any other test, you can just put it here. And there are two recommendation letters that you have to provide here and endorsement form that you can download from here. So we will discuss it at the end because these steps comes at the end and admission letter from Malaysian University, if you have, that is a plus point and CV research proposal. So the documents are to be scanned and PDF format before being uploaded online. So applicant must fulfill the following criteria is not more than 40 or 45 old. If you're applying for master's and PhD, so this is the age limit you have to keep in mind while applying. So for master's program, you have to three CGPA or second class upper or a higher eight bachelor's degree. And for PhD, if you're applying for PhD, you must have same CGPA of three, or you can say excellence results at master's level. So mastering good proficiency English. So you have to provide these things, six IELTS band. And for TOEFL, you have to fulfill this requirement of 550, has obtained previous degree with English, used a medium of institution evidence. So you can also provide an English proficiency letter if you have submitting a written research proposal with minimum 1000 words that is relevant to your field. So level of field, so you can see master's or philosophy degree, or you can say doctorate degree list of university you can see these different university like UTM, USM, UPM, UM, UITM. So these are the different university you can apply in the next steps when we will apply. So scholarship benefit is 1500 per month. So successful applicants are accepted to independently arrange their travel to Malaysia non-financially provision travel expense will not be provided by government of Malaysia. So this is a clear they had mentioned. So all applicants are highly advised to check the expected living experience in Malaysia. So applicants are welcome to apply these courses. So area of study, you can see education, art and humanity, social sciences and journalism and information, business administration and law nature of science, mathematics and aesthetics, information and communication technologies, engineering and manufacturing and construction, agriculture, forestry, fisheries and veterinary, health and welfare, not including medicine, nursing and pharmacy. So for selection area, or you can say selection criteria, outstanding academic achievements. So keep in mind these things, the quality of research proposal and its potential contribution towards the advanced technology, excellent communication. So terms and conditions is because scholars must undertake fully time study postgraduate program. So at the selected university, it is the responsibility of the scholar to confirm their admission to the university. Scholar must not change their study program during the tenure of scholarship. Scholarship, or you can say scholar, must fulfill the requirement of the study according to their law. And any suspension from university will result the scholar's immediate suspension of the scholarship or monthly announce. And it is responsibility of the successful candidate to apply and meet the requirements. So you have to just see detail here. 
and scholars must obtain satisfactory academic progress. Scholar, the scholarship are tenable, Malaysian university and higher education institution research. So scholars are not allowed to take any paid employment. So you cannot work while getting this scholarship. This is clearly mentioned. So for further inquiries regarding MIS, please contact this email or you can say number what feels better for you. Here is the email. So this is the contact information. So let's go for applying. So from here, you can just select your gender and for suppose your passport expiry, let's just click randomly here like January 1st, 2024 and region that depends upon you, either you're Muslim, non-Muslim and Buddhist, Christian, Sikhism or other. So if you click on others, you can be from exempt these religions. So like I am Muslim, I will click here and for status, I, either you are single, married, Video drivers or separated, just click what you are. And if you're single, just blank this. And applicant's official office name. So you have to just write here for mailing and communication. So like I will write here and you have to write anything according to your address. So your straight elbow. Master is in and the postal address is this for my district and country is Pakistan and telephone number is anything that you want to write and same as above or you can just write this like here any number that you are to get just to right here. So this is the same click here, then again here that will be paste here. And email is already written here. And for emergency content, you can write any name that is your relative anything so this is a parent for mobile number you have to just paste for email you have to write like here and a b c anything so like here same so for country you have to just here click so full name, you have to write here. So this is the academic background and your academic and financial award, other activities, previous research in foreign and declaration, you have to write yes or no. Have you ever been connected by code? Just click no. If you will click yes, you have to just fill the information. So just click simply no. So from here, you have to write your highest degree. So like here, I will write not China. So like click forward. University. So major is electrical. Place of study is China. Level is masters and from 2020 to 2022 so my grade or cgpa so that is almost 89 percentage i don't know whether this will accept or not because i have written my percentage so yeah that is just written so academic and financial award try to write whatever you have Certificate, other activities, previous residence in foreign. If you have been visited 
So just write that and have you participate in any program in Malaysia before? If you have, just click here. So go for next. So from here, you can see the level. So like your program here, engineering. And where is your major here? It is your major. Just click any three university, try to get the information of that university by clicking that name. So what's that? So that will start nearly in September. So just randomly click the date. So academic session. That is 22 or 23, so proficiency in the language. So what is your language? You have to just write that, like I'm Sunday. So I can just write and spoke it very well. So I don't have eyes or profil. So I will go next. So from here, you can write according to your description and your you have to write your essay as well. So for upload, you have to just click any file. So just upload it. Anything that you want to write, like they are just saying, anything so you have to just write something so for research you have to just type anything so for name of supervisor just share so for faculty just click anything so for problem statement hypothesis or expected of the research and summary of the contribution so this is all about your research for thesis test only so click next. So from here, you have to write your supervisor and your job history. Like I have a supervisor. Name is Dr. Javed. And I have to write his job title is assistant Professor, so I have to just write that and organization that is a government. So for this, I have to paste these numbers and for email, Javed anything at the rate gmail.com. So for another teacher, just write his name, Dr. Aslam. So he's a full time professor. And the organization is government and telephone number and faxes. And for email, you have to just write his email, correct email of that university. So if you have this job history, you can write, else you can go next. So these are the main things what I was just talking about. You have to download this applicant form and a copy of passport certificate copy of transcript and testimonial and certified copy of english proficiency that is ielts profile or anything else so this is the and thing so for cv you have to just upload your cv that is in european style that will be must appreciated so for admission it from Malaysian University if applicable if you have you can upload that will increase your chances of admission so two letters of recommendation letter we will just download and for endorsement form of MIS scholarship for research proposal so two three you have to just read these so you are required to attach recommendation letter to online and up login to MIS system required to documents about click save so these are the list of documents you have to just upload and you have to just click on I strongly declare and like from here as well then you have to click next that will be enough for applying so just see 
So this is uh, your what you have written so far. Download these two letters. You can see these different informations uh, like recommendation letter, Malaysian International Scholarship, and these are the different details that you will fill either you or your professor so it is better you can fill yourself and just go for his sign and there is another for MIS you can see from here so from here you can see the different details uh, this is all from my side if you are facing any difficulty while applying feel free to contact with me thanks so much for watching